parthenogenesis. It is the types of reproduction in which an egg can develop into embryo without being fertilized by male gamete or sperm. Today we are discuss about parthenogenesis. Without any further delay, let's start. Parthenogenesis derived from Greek word parthenos which means virgin and the genesis which means origin. Parthenogenesis occurs in a large number in a plant groups but very rarely in animals. In animals it is found in groups Hymenoptera which includes bees, wasps etc. There are two types of parthenogenesis. First is complete parthenogenesis and the second is incomplete parthenogenesis. Complete parthenogenesis. In this case, the female reproduces by itself and completely absence of male, so that the female reproduces by parthenogenesis only. Incomplete parthenogenesis. In this case, two generations, the sexual generation and parthenogenetic generation, both are alternate with each other. In such cases, diploid eggs produce female and unfertilized eggs produce males. For example, honeybees. Fertilized eggs gives rise to queen and worker. Unfertilized eggs gives rise to drone. The haploid eggs are not fertilized by male gamete and develops into haploid individuals. So the haploid individuals are always males. Diploid. In this case the young individuals develops from unfertilized diploid egg. So the diploid individuals are always female. Artificial parthenogenesis, the egg which always develop into the young individuals by the fertilization, sometimes may develop parthenogenetically under certain artificial condition. The artificial parthenogenesis involves in physical factor and chemical factor. Physical factor, in which involves temperature, UV rays and electric shock, etc. Chemical factor, in which involves chemical substances like urea, chloroform, etc. Advantages This process avoids the germplasm in the form of male gamete and female gamete. It helps in determination of sex in bees, wasps, etc. The parthenogenesis is the most simple, stable and easy process of reproduction. Disadvantages This stops the chances of new combination of genes and thus avoid selection in population. This result in the lack of adaptive followed by extinction of sexuality.